Hey guys, uh, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Um, I want to do something a little different for the channel today. Um, I got this model kit um, from my daughter, not this Christmas, but last Christmas. And I'm going to get around to getting it built here fairly soon. Um, I haven't built a plastic model in quite a while. And I've got several I need to do, but it's a Lindbergh. Um, which it'll be my first Lindbergh kit. I've never that I remember building a Lindbergh But it's a nose art Edition where there's different uh, Nose arts that you can run different markings stuff like that. It's got decals for a few different planes um, Here's the back side of the box um, There's a few different Kind of markings and stuff, and then here's some of the uh, the nose art. Um, Mama's a little darling. Miss Mary Lou's surprise and eagle eyes. A couple of different different ones. Um, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, just uh, and then also it's got a, a poster with it, um, which I gotta get that put up. Um, framed or whatever put up but just a neat uh, neat kit um, I guess I haven't done any uh, plastic model kits here in a while and quite some time um, it's got a base which I won't use um, clear plastic base but I won't use that because I'll just hang it up and whatnot um, got your typical your windows um, side windows uh, turrets, nose, etc. Um, then uh, your decal sheet, and like I said, it's got a few different markings, different bomb groups, um, things like that. But what, one thing that's cool the uh, instructions it actually has crew members, um, so you can put in. Uh, different guys. I mean, it's a fairly simple kit. Um, there's not a lot of detail to it, um, but definitely cool that you know you can put in some crew guys, uh, pilot, co-pilot, bombardier. Um, there's a ball turret gunner, but I'm not going to use him because he's sitting halfway up out of the ball, and that's kind of cheesy but it's cool it's got the waist gunners um and the windows for the waist guns are open top turret where my dad was dad was a top turret gunner so fairly simple you know instructions in that and like i said i've never built a Lindbergh, so i don't know how this is going to fit together um you know compared to like a monogram or a Ravel. um but uh you know, like I said, basic, pretty basic kit. Um, you know, liking it, um, you know, the way it's laid out and everything so far, pretty decent. Um, but yeah, just, uh, you know, your your basic stuff. Here's your fuselage uh, halves, which the cockpit window, there's it's way too much of a V shape that I'm going to have to do something with. Um, because it points in the center way too much, um, you know, but there again, it is what it is. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on the inside or whatever, probably just paint it all zinc chromate green and, uh, you know, go from there. You won't be able to see a whole lot of it anyway, because, you know, just kind of a nature of the beast. But, um... Yeah, it, like I said, it's going to be a pretty neat little kit, uh, something different, um, got my wings, all your wing sections, there's your the crew guys, um, you know, get them all painted up and put in your machine guns, um, you know, your uh, football shaped antenna, the um, prop shafts, waning gear, etc., so, like I said, it's going to be a neat one. I, I'm looking forward to it, um, along with my other 20 million projects i got going. 
um, it'll be a nice, you know, little different uh, thing here. And I'll uh, keep you guys posted, you know, some of the build and when it gets all finished and that. Um, like I said, of course, it's a B-17 Flying Fortress, so imagine that. Um, I've only got five or six more B-17 kits I got to do. I got the uh, visible 148 scale where the one hole, in fact, actually, it's this side of plastic, um, be the pilot side. The whole piece that I'm holding is clear. So when you put the airplane together, you can see all the way through, um, you know, the side of the plane. But I got that. I got the Memphis Bell 148. I've got several. So um, I'll do some uh, reviews on those. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll do some reviews on those and uh, different things here down the road. But um, anyway, like I said, just something a little different. You know, I haven't done any plastic model um you know, stuff on here, uh, but, you know, if it wasn't for growing up building plastic model kits, I wouldn't, you know, be into the RC part of it, you know, here's my Corsair, um, you know, so, you know, you build plastic models, and then you end up growing into the RC side of it, and, you know, if funds are available for you, then usually the next step's a full size, but I just haven't been able to do that one yet. But anyway, um, yeah, like I said, guys, uh, just something a little different, and um, I'll uh, keep you posted on the build, and hopefully uh, if you like and subscribe, and uh, like I said, everybody out there have a good uh, Father's Day, and uh, take care. Thanks, guys. Bye.